Hi, we are at the NASCOM Technology and Leadership Forum 2024. I'm Anisha Nayar Dhawan, and we're on a mission to find out how Gen AI is impacting businesses and industries. I have with me Mr. Nitin Mittal, President, Technology and Data Z Entertainment, joining us now. Thank you so much, Nitin, for being with us. So, Z and NASCOM have come together to found the uh, generative AI foundry to mm -hmm. mentor startups in Gen AI. Can you give us an update on that? What kind of mentoring is happening for startups here? Sure, so we went through a selection process uh, early this quarter. Out of 25 uh, members of the foundry, we selected six of them, which we believe that can impact a long-term revenue and productivity improvement in our business. Right now, we are engaging with them to go deeper into the specific areas of script generation, music, and uh, marketing by using our own proprietary stack. Because we believe that our own data should be used for the use cases for which Z want to use these startups to scale our revenues and improve our productivity. Okay. So I would say work in progress. I have a couple of uh, follow-up sure. questions coming to that. I'm still trying to understand uh, what is the role of Gen AI and mm -hmm. technology in a creative field where, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to wonder what the data is uh, beyond the common data, the bark data. And this was the one thing where we felt, you know, your creativity, your imagination is something that a machine can never replace. So what is Gen AI doing in a creative field like media? So we are not saying that Gen AI is replacing the creativity. We are using Gen AI for augmenting the creativity basically amplifying human creativity at a different scale. And when we talk about data in a media field, it's beyond the rating data. It's about our last 30 years of content data. It's the last 30 years of feedback we got from our consumers and viewers. It's the data which advertisers have given us, uh, which they have used our content to propagate their brands over many, many years for now. Mm -hmm. So we are using that data to train our existing models to see what kind of script works well with our consumers, what kind of twist and plots they would like to see and feel engaged with it. Mm -hmm. And given that the uh, proliferation of OTT in last five years, we believe we can hyper-personalize the content for them. If I know more about their consumer behavior, if, in, if I know more about what they like to watch and what they like to buy, we can go to a good mix of content and advertising together. Okay. So a lot to do with data, mm -hmm. which is our own data internally with us. Great, but how do you beat your competition in this? Because they also have a similar kind of data, right? They've been in the business for say a few decades. Advertisers help them out, they got the feedback. Yep. How do you beat them at this game using Gen AI? So our biggest advantage is last two and a half years uh, with our executive sponsorship, we have built a fantastic data platform and it has all the data potentially which any media company can have in a structured format which is accessible for our models to be trained. So we, are, we have done that premature work which is now giving us dividend compared to any media company today in India. Mm -hmm. So that's our biggest so advantage. So you got the first mover advantage. Absolutely. And a very structured, well thought strategy of data. Give me uh, an example of how you're going to personalize something for your customer who has been watching Z5 for say four or five years. So let's take in content. Uh, you may like a particular actor, a particular genre, uh, based on the mood of the day. And we have those signals as you have been watching Z5 for five years. Mm -hmm. If I show you that particular actor in a particular mood and a particular scene on your thumbnail, the probability of you clicking on it to see, oh, really? Yeah, I know. I would love to click on this and see what's happening. It's far higher than I am showing you another actor from the same content in a different mood. So that's what the value of personalization can be, which means that we can convert the intent into real action. Okay. And that's a big upside for any media company. Okay, 2024 and beyond. How do you see Gen AI evolving? So Gen AI will become far more pervasive in the creative ecosystem, right from the content creation to how we store content, how we create thumbnails out of the content, 
how we market content and how we create personalized ad and content mix together will be the mainstream work which every media company would be doing in 24 and 25. Great. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Nitin. Pleasure to have you with us. Thank you.